Hi everyone, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal tutorial. This one will continue the series about creating really basic realistic landscapes. And while the previous video, you can check out it in the link in the description below, shows you how to set up a new level of realistic landscape. This one will show you how to model and sculpt the same level. Now this, among many other things in Unreal that are really complicated, is something that's pretty simple and straightforward and should be easily understandable by anyone who has any experience in any visual editing program, like for example Photoshop. So let's check it out now, here is my new level, the level I set up in the previous video, as you can see it's a really basic thing, where you have your plate that has a mount at one of its sides, I'm going to show it in the game real quick. There's the first person preview. I need to select the screen and there's that sound of firing. And here's the mount. As you can see, it's a really simple setup. The texture that I use is that, more precisely the material I use is uh, grassland and it's uniformed. And now I'm going to show you how you can easily and quickly do a bit of landscaping that can define this level into something a lot more interesting. So to do that you need to go to modes and choose this landscape or do it with shift 2. When you do it you immediately come to this menu or this preview where you can use the same tools. As again this is the level and we're not using here up here the manage element we're using the sculpt element as you can see you also have the paint element which is used for texturing but we're going to use the sculpt which is used to actually move and modify the elements in the same level or the same setup you have already so first we have the sculpt option. The great thing about the sculpt option is that you have a simple explanation right here which shows you what the same let's say brush does. It says it's, it raises or lowers the landscape using select brush shape and fall off. So this way I can provide my level with a smooth raising where I literally take up a few platforms near my original mount. Besides this uh, option of choosing the same brush, you have these basic options. Strength is how fast or how intensely, intensively does the same change happen. For example, let's see like this. As you can see in a second or two it created a huge mount. I'm going to revert it and put it to somewhere like this. This chooses the shape of your brush. So for example it can be something like this and I can add another part here. So I got a small ridge here literally. And finally uh, the pattern allows you to uh, do another choice here and component is something that allows you to choose a component that will be used for this. But I'm going to remain on the circle option. Radius is the size of your brush. As you can see you can s pull it down or keep it large. And this is the shape of the brush. So here's the smooth, here's the linear, I'm going to leave this. Here's the spherical. I'm going to add it here on top of the existing ones. And the tip is something like this. So I'm going to zoom in to show you the results. So all of these are shapes you create in your landscape with the same brush, which is sculpt, but you simply use different kinds of brushes inside of the scalp brush which is its primary one. Now the rest of the option is let's add before I go into that a central hill or something similar here. I'm going to create a 
slightly larger brush. Let's go to mount like this. Okay. And we have the smooth option. Again, you should use this description here. Smooth is the landscape with the brush influences by average Z position of the landscape vertical. So it would, again, let's pull it down. It would allow you to kind of flatten or smooth out the existing surface. That the same is flattened, but it works by raising or lowering the landscape to the height of location you started out using the tool so it provides a bit of the same thing as the smooth option let's come closer here for a better look ramp is precisely that the ability to create a direct ramp from position one then you select the position two and you place enter and you got your ramp it's not that clear here but let's zoom in on this side and you can see this is something that you'll often use because sometimes you'll create surfaces that your for example player character can't climb so you'll need to either flatten smooth provide some erosion for traction that can be used for actually accessing different points but of course you can also edit that from through different means erosion is the ability to kind of provide something that simulates the natural process of erosion so let's zoom here a bit in as you can see it gives it that kind of also flattening but through a more let's call it natural looking process where you simulate something that would be erosion like you can see on the edges how it gives them that kind of crest again that simulates erosion the same goes for the hydro tool so let's use it here we're going to check it out in first person when i pull up my player capsule noise is the filter height map or layer weight we can do it here and you have your other brushes here which are more specific but I'm not going to get into that in more detail because this one should, these six or seven brushes should be enough for you to create your basic landscape. Now, we need to find my player capsule, which should be somewhere around here. Let's see, player start. It's buried. I'm going to go back to select mode and player start is here under the mound so I'm going to pull it up and we're going to get a chance to explore the same landscape that we just created so let's place it here and see how does all of this look like there's the firing and this is my first of all my steep side of that little mountain which I can't climb Instead, I need to go around. This is much more accessible, as you can see. We're going to get to the ramp part, which starts here. As you can see, it's clearly marked as ramp. And you can already see of some of that erosion that took place on this crest. It's a really, <laughs> really jagged and unrealistic, so we would need probably to flatten that out and we can climb on top of the same mound right here. Once we do, we can start firing for no particular reason. But yes, that's the basic setup of your uh, landscaping options. As you can see, it's pretty simple. It's really similar to any kind of paint or visual editor software. And it provides you with pretty cool results and something that you can play with until the cows come home because it's really super understandable super accessible and probably for me as a real beginner even though i'm not fully in comprehension of all of the brushes and options of course the basic ones that i mentioned are super easy to understand and represent more or less the most uh, easy to grasp part of unreal in my case 
when you start learning it. So it doesn't require any blueprint action, it doesn't require any kind of logical programming or coding elements. It simply allows you to take your material and sculpt it as if you were physically touching or changing it. As you can see, the results are pretty cool and you can make them as cool as you want and uh, give them as much time as you want to create really different options and interesting levels for your games or any other kind of project. So that's all for this second video in this series about creating a basic realistic landscape. The next element will be adding some features like trees and other textures to this landscape. So this would be everything for this tutorial video. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear from you in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy learning Unreal and want to see many more basic starting Unreal tutorials. I would also love to hear if you have any questions and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or share it with someone who would find it interesting as well. That's all for me. Again, a huge thanks for watching until the very end. Have a great day. Keep learning that Unreal and bye bye.